Alright, hey there Proxy, and this is Prox right here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Radical Red Randomizer Nuzlocke, and if you guys didn't miss out in the last one, uh, we are now finally out of that dreaded annoying Mount Moon section, because we had to go and battle out one more other annoying trainer, which that was Archer, uh, one of the Rocket Executives here in this game. I believe all of the Rocket Executives are going to be making their appearance here in this game, but we just have to kind of wait and see what is going to be happening throughout the rest of the other series that is going to be happening here in Pokemon Radical Red, um, but he did ha actually have a pretty crazy Pokemon, which that was Mighty Anna. Uh, it did come with Ice Bang that we didn't really get to see that move yet, but he does have Bite and also have Howl, so that's going to be pretty scary. So if he did land out that Ice Bang, and, and if we did have Boo during that time, uh, he, we would have probably already died very quickly, and uh, it would have been already game over for us easily. But thank God for Voltaire with the paralysis that kept on happening, because oh boy was that ever freaking annoying. Now, I don't know in this version of Radical Red, uh, I'm pretty sure that the Orange berries actually do stay with you for the remainder of the time. Uh, I believe these orange berries don't really disappear because uh, once you use them, uh, they basically kind of restore all your health. So so it's actually relatively pretty nice because majority of all these other uh, cameo trainers and all the, and basically our rival binge, of course, is going to be having a lot of these orange berries with them. So uh, that, I guess that's why uh, they, they kind of want to keep uh, keep those orange berries with us for the remainder of the game so that we can at least kind of have at least some sort of recovery uh, in this game uh, for when we actually do battle any of uh, any of the rivals or any of the gym leaders of the sort um but without further ado in this episode i believe we are going to be taking care of binge that is going to be all the way up here in the golden nugget bridge uh we should also go and probably take care of some of the trainers as well because i don't really want to go and take care of misty right away in this episode i think we'll worry about that for the next episode uh just so that we can have all of our guys all trained up and hopefully electric can get some pretty nice good uh electric type attacks or maybe boo can get some nice good uh maybe some good uh grass type uh moves as as well too because Misty is the water type user. Um, but let's go and actually check out our team. Uh, we actually do have a brand new member. We do have Papa of course, our Aaron, uh, which that is actually pretty nice. Uh, we also do have a brand new egg, which uh, I don't think we have ever checked this out yet. So uh, what we'll have for this, it will take some time. So I guess it's going to take a little bit of, of a while, but either way, we're going to do a little bit of a team recap. So let's get ourselves all started off with your first. We got ourselves Jack level 27 with Weird Pursuit, Whole Cause, and Fae Attack. We also have Blue level 24 with Mega Drain, Astonish, Confuse Ray, and Trick or Treat. We also have Voltaire level 22 with Acid, Thunder Wave, Spark, and Charge Beam. And we also have Wombi at level 20 with Pluck, Nasty Plot, Flatter, and Roost. And also, too, we also have Pop at level 15 with Mud Slap, Headbutt, Metal Claw, and Rock Tomb. And that is basically everybody on the team. So can't wait until we get to see what this $5,000 egg is going to be about, because that's just some insane money right there. But here we go, we got ourselves binge once more. So yo, Prox, you're still struggling uh, along back here. I'm doing great. I just caught a bunch of strong and uh, and smart Pokemon. So here, let me see what you caught, Prox. Oh man, here we go. Let's get everything started off with here first. So what is he going to be sending out? So he's got himself a Curlia out here first, which that really shouldn't be that too much of a problem. Uh, because if we actually go and land up with a pursuit, this should be an easy clean win right here. Yep, easy. Easier than said than done. Curly is already down. Everybody hopefully can get uh, some really nice good EXP from all that. We also got Staravia coming out, which uh, we already got the perfect Pokemon for the job, so we're gonna go and switch up right into Voltaire for this. Okay, let's go set for a Spark. Easy knockout right there with the Staravia. Nice. Everybody's gonna get some pretty nice good stuff. Yep, here we go. Papa is going to learn Protect. Uh, but let's see. What can we forget about this? Metal Claw, I kind of want to keep. Headbutt. Uh, maybe we'll forget about Mudslap. We don't really need that. I think Protect would be somewhat pretty helpful for a little bit. Until we actually get ourselves another pretty nice good move. I think uh, Aaron evolves into a Laron. I think around like level 30 or so. So that should be pretty nice. Alright, so we got ourselves a Rock Rough. We're going to go switch out right into Boo, since our team is pretty diverse for this. So it's not all that too bad. There we go. Knock out the Rock Rough right here. Okay, then let's see what else he's got. He's got himself a Charmeleon out here. Oh, man. Okay, well, let's just go switch it on out. He's got himself Ember. I'm going to set up for a Pursuit right now. I'll go for one more. Ah, oh, there he goes. Nice. Take care of that. Just want to kind of fast forward... Uh, throughout the fight a little bit there because I know that pursuit is good not, like probably not do a whole lot of damage to the Charmeleon but at least we knocked out binge once again and I know that his team seems uh, a little bit stronger every time <laughs> so hopefully the next time around uh, hopefully we can survive it <laughs> all right so oh wait hold on so, oh yeah right I feel sorry for you uh, no really you're always uh, 
uh, pl uh, uh, plotting behind me. So uh, here, I'll, I'll give you a little uh, prison. Uh, so we got ourselves the Pokey Rider. What really? Seems like we're getting all the new uh, or, or all the different generation features. We got ourselves Dynamax fans, Pokey. Uh, wait, Pokey Riders now? That's pretty cool. So I guess uh, Cut and also all the other HMs are not going to be even a part of this game at all. So pretty interesting. I wonder if uh, if the old guy or, or well maybe even if Bill may probably give us uh, a nice cool item up here. Yeah, because I don't think it's the old guy anymore, because the old guy, I think, is over at Johto. Because if you come back here, because I'm pretty sure, like, Bill normally stays in, uh, whoa, there's like an Ace Trainer all the way up there. Interesting. And there's also a TM. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll just leave Jackaloo for the time being and, uh, go and take care of some of these trainers. So people call this the Nugget Bridge, but beat five of us and win a fabulous prize. But of course, that is going to be always a Nugget. Because always getting a nugget, it's always pretty nice. Alright, so we got ourselves a Alola Persian. Alright, now that shouldn't be too crazy. Doing this up for a fate attack. There we go. Come on. There we go. Knock out the Persian. Of course, we don't really have any type of Pokemon that is, that's even remotely to fighting to even take care of these guys. So I kind of have to use Jackal for a little bit. Riolu. Okay, now that is a little bit of a problem, but I think we should be somewhat okay. Okay, I think. Yep, there we go. Knock him out. Caterpie, easy enough said than done. Already finished out with you. Papa's gonna get us up to another level and also a Garbodor. Alright, uh, I think we probably just set up for maybe a fan attack. Ooh, nice. There we go. One more fan attack. Does it. And Garbodor is down. Nice. Uh, at least the good thing is, is that since we're just gonna be battling out some, uh, some trainers, we can just at least kind of use our super potions for a little while until we decide to actually go and take care of Misty. Or whatever type of cameo trainer that we do come across at some point. But that is a little bit new. I don't know what uh, what that trainer is actually doing all the way, uh, all the way down there where the, uh, where the Nugget Bridge is. But I guess uh, once we do get ourselves Surf, maybe we'll uh, go and battle out that guy or something. But there is another TM down there, and uh, I think we have to go around the little shortcut pathway that's around Bill's place. But we have to wait for that a little bit later. Alright, so we got ourselves a small blue. Let's go switch out to full tear for this one. Spark, go right ahead, knock them out. Nose pass. Well, we already got the proper Pokemon for the job out here. Gonna go ahead to Boo for this one. Alright, Mega Drain, take up the Nose Pass right there. Easy enough said the done. And also another Mega Drain to the base. Nice. Alright, here we go, another one. I know that our team is a little bit too high up in power, but, but we actually have to do that here in this game. It's just one false move and then everybody's gonna die. Uh, let's see. Unfortunately, we don't really have anything to really help us out. I could probably set out a uh, Volby for this one. Because um, I don't know how much. Let's see. Maybe if we set out Volby out here. Let's go for a pluck. Ooh, not bad at all. Nice. Good job, Volby. Even though that I don't really. Uh, uh, since I haven't really used her all that too much, uh, I think this will be the perfect time to go ahead and do that. Now we got ourselves you, and that is going to be a little bit of a problem. But I think if I set out for a spark, hopefully that does at least something. Nice. Alright, so that takes care of the other trainer, so that is three down, and I think there's only two more left, or maybe three more left. I'm not too entirely certain how many of these trainers are on this bridge, because it has been a while since I've uh, stepped foot into Pokemon uh, Gen 1 out here. Alright, let's get on out, and let's take care of the other trainers that are here. Uh, so, uh, oh yeah, uh, basically, I also totally forgot to uh, tell you guys this, but, um, Basically, uh, for the live stream, uh, for the Wind Waker randomizer, off recording, I was trying to figure out a way on how to actually reach ourselves to the Helmrock King fight, uh, and I literally came across something that is a little bit of a glitch, and, uh, all you have to do is just literally hold on to that little pole that's in the Forsaken Fortress, like, just right near where all the different, like, bunk beds are, uh, and there should be, like, uh, that hammer, uh, type of section to use your skull hammer to head into that, uh, door that actually leads you into the right proper place. Well, if you actually, uh, kind of line yourself up properly, 
jump onto the pole and then do a uh, and, and then just do uh, a little bit of a jump with your sword you should literally uh, fly right up to the top of that balcony section and then you can make it right to that area and actually battle out the hemrock king that way and i think that is what i'm going to be doing uh for the live stream uh that is going to be happening uh for monday so if you guys are interested on watching the live streams they do happen out on monday of course uh they actually happen in the, uh in the afternoon time i don't know exactly uh what type of time i'm actually going to do it for uh because uh, just to let you guys know that uh my scheduling uh for my live streams may probably get changed like uh within around may but i'll let you guys know that in a uh, quick update but here we go got ourselves another battle out here so i'm number four getting tired nah uh, you guys are just pretty straightforward i wasn't getting tired at all Unless if you have something really crazy like this, for for that matter, like a Torterra, like, geez. Come on, man. I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> Ouch! Wow, that did a lot of damage. I think that was Razor Leaf. Jeez. Calm down with that, man. Alright, what else do you have? A Girder. Uh, that's a little bit of a problem. Uh, but I think we should be somewhat... I think we should be somewhat okay. Ooh, okay, let's start for the spark out here. Come on. There we go. That was a critical two as well. Nice. All right, so good job, Voltaire, man. I have to say, Voltaire, you're going to become one of my favorite Pokemon on this team right now. Since you have, like, literally been such a big help against Archer. For whatever other type of Rocket Executive that we see, I may probably just want to use Voltaire throughout that whole entire battle. If that may probably be the case. All right, there we go. Awesome. All healed up once again. That's pretty nice that you actually do have like a second nurse joy to like uh, change up the natures or what or whatever for your Pokemon. So if you actually do have like a really crappy nature, at least you can like uh, go and say like, oh yeah, I want to like change that around. Which that'd be pretty cool. I don't know. I kind of like the uh, the natures that I have with the Pokemon that I have already. But uh, we may probably do that maybe a little bit later down the road or whatever. Here we go, guys. So Skunk Tank, uh, a little bit scary out here, but I think we should be somewhat okay. There we go. Wow. Uh, that was a very annoying Skunk Tank, but at least we uh, went and taken care of that. So yep, the Oraberry is still with us for for the while there. But the good thing is, is that the Oraberry, um, like, I mean, since it only, uh, like, since it's gonna be staying with us for like quite a while. Uh, at least it, like, uh, only heals us up, like, like only once, and I think I should be alright. Because as long as I actually grab, like, a little bit of some recovery, then I should be somewhat fine throughout this whole entire, uh, part here. But let's see, we actually got ourselves one more other guy, and I feel a little bit afraid. Because this guy may probably have some wild Pokemon on him. So congratulations, uh, you beat our five contestants. So by the way, uh, how would you like to uh, join Team Rocket? Uh, we a group professional criminalized specialized Pokemon. Uh, Want to join? Are you sure? Come on, join us. I'm telling you, it will be fu uh, 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 fun. Okay, so uh, you need convincing? I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. And here we go. All right, let's see what he's got out here. He's got himself two Pokemon out here. and got himself a Panch. Yeah, that's a little bit freaking terrifying, but let me just go and switch out that around. Spark. Oh, come on, man. Hmm. Ooh. There we go. That was one annoying Pokemon of that Pansion right there. Anyone else got some Binacle? That should be somewhat okay because we do have Boo for the job. Alright, here we go. Mega Drain. And there we go. Binacle is down. Thank God, man. Oh. Thank you for the Nugget. Awesome. And I think we are all good now. So now since we've taken care of the Nugget Bridge, we got ourselves a brand new route up ahead, which that is pretty nice. Because I'm pretty certain here there is going to be some uh, grass that we can actually go and encounter. Because I, because if I'm not mistaken, originally it, in the vanilla game of the Gen 1 games, I'm pretty certain you can find an Oddish and a Bell Sprout in this area. And probably a Jigglypuff as well too, because I'm pretty much certain that it, uh, I think Jigglypuff and Abras are also... Uh, in this route because if you want to do like the Mew Glitch, uh, those are the two Pokemon that you actually have to go for. Which I remember doing those back in the day. They were actually, uh, that was actually pretty fun. <laughs> I think that's like the one glitch that I always like doing is always doing the Mew Glitch. Oh, nice, actually. Wow, okay, that Pursuit actually might, it really knocked out that Pokemon right there. Alright, level 26 for Boo, and what's the learn Magical Leaf. Interesting move right here. Um, 
so that is 60, and Mega Drain is 60 as well, too. I think this time I'm going to forget about Astonish because we don't really need that, but I kind of like having Trick or Treat or Confuse Ray so that we can actually make the Pokemon turn into a Ghost type and then we can just start like going all out with like uh, with Jackal there. So there we go. Magical Leaf for you. Papa's now a little knight. Tia wants to learn War. Uh, no, we already have the TL for it anyway, so if we ever decide to want to add it there, we can. Rapidash, ooh, wow, okay. Uh, I think this is the Psychic Rapidash, right? So if I set up for a Pursuit, would this do a lot of damage? Nope. <laughs> ooh. A little bit too scary right there. Jeez. All right, calm down, you. Well, 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 well sorry, not even a little Rapidash, sorry. My bad, Galarian Rapidash. Uh, I'm getting all my uh, forms all messed up around here, but yeah. Jeez, that's uh, a little bit terrifying. I don't think it... Is it Psychic? It Fairy or something? Or maybe I could be wrong. I know it's like one of those typings. I know it's like Fairy or something. But that was a little bit too terrifying for that uh, Glorian Rapidash right there. But we never get to see another one again. <laughs> Did way too much damage on Jackal right there. I thought we were going to be a course loser on another Pokemon. And hey, another Dynamax area. So if we want to go and uh, do anything there, we can. But here is the grass that I've been wanting. And also, too, it's also raining, which that's a little bit strange. Normally, this area never rains. But I wonder what's going on. Maybe we can find Suicune here or something. And, ooh. Well, I know that I've been kind of wanting to have a, uh, a Fire-type Pokemon out here, and I think Haldor would probably be perfect for what we actually do need. Uh, so let's up for maybe a Fate Attack. Oh no, it was a critical! Oh. I didn't know that was actually going to knock him out. Oh. Our Pokemon are just way too strong, man. <laughs> no, I wanted that Haldor so badly. Well, whatever our egg is going to be, hopefully that's going to be a fire type. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we got ourselves a whole bunch of other trainers to go in the fight here. Um, I guess we'll just do one more little quick battle. And then uh, we may probably just end off the episode right here. Nice. And also a Toxel. Again, knocked out as well, too. Wow, that was really simple. <laughs> Well, I guess what I'm going to do here, guys, is probably just go out and end off the episode here for today. Uh, so in the next one, I guess what we are going to do is uh, just keep on heading down over here, go and talk to Bill, uh, see if he gives us anything, and then uh, we'll start uh, heading back over to where Misty is. And I think our team should probably be roughly pretty good around where, where she's going to be at. And uh, maybe uh, since we can use Voltaire, and maybe we get ourselves a, a new move along the way in the next episode, uh, we could use that to our advantage. Uh, but Boo actually does have Magical Leaf, which that's pretty nice, so he may probably just be kind of using uh, Boo for the time being in that area, but we'll uh, worry about that uh, for another time. I'll see you guys then, and peace.